Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Marie and I are new members here at First Church. We joined this congregation in November. Doug Davis asked us to share our faith journey with you. Thank you, Doug. This was discussed during the orientation pro uh, meeting that we had. We had been members of a Worcester church for 46 years. When we joined, it was a very active church in the community and had a huge Sunday school. Throughout the years, we witnessed declining membership, several minister changes, and many programming changes. As a result, the Sunday school shrunk. Sundays were scheduled, but some of the early services were canceled, and that provided a catalyst to, to visit other churches. And we did. We visited several churches, yet did not find what we were looking for until we came here. here. Our daughter, Linda Sawin, who is here, suggested that we visit First Church. We visited, and we were given a fantastic first impression. We were warmly and genuinely greeted at the door. We were handed name tags immediately, a program, and invited to sit anywhere we liked. <laughs> a full congregation was present that ordinary, non-holiday Sunday. Seniors, middle-aged, young adults, teenagers, and most important, children. People were very friendly. Programming was in place to benefit all ages. There's a lot going on in this church. 80 young people are registered right now in the Sunday School. Not all of them come every week, let's be honest about that. <laughs> The future of any church depends on the youth, as Pastor Robin has said many occasions. The sermon Pastor Robin delivered was that Sunday caused an immediate and profound effect on us. As Marie said on the way home to Holden, it gave us something to think about every, during the week. But the sermon itself was tied not only to the, the subject, but also to the scripture reading, and also to the choir, and also to the congregation with the hymns that were sung, a complete package. We also embraced the mission statement to make earth a little better by creating heaven on earth, doing God's work in this community as well as elsewhere is supported and applauded. We were impressed. We continue to attend service here, and after being members of another church in Worcester for 46 years, decided to call First Church in Sterling our church home. First Church in Sterling is alive and well, thanks in part, obviously, to all of you. We are happy to be here and wish to thank all of you for the warm welcome. Thank you very much.